The project was a 1,410 square foot addition onto this existing house and we're coming off uh, the garage. Here you can see the gravel pad, it's been poured, the ground's been excavated and leveled, services are starting to go in. The uh, plumbing and electrical lines of course all had to be laid before the Legolet uh, heating system went in. Here you can see the beginning of the Legolet stuff uh, getting put in. Um, a fairly uh, intricate network of pipes, uh, but it went in quickly. The uh, Legolet crew know what they're doing. Um, they were here uh, probably for about three or four days working on, on all this and uh, basically got it installed. We had some weather delays and that sort of thing, but uh, generally that, that part of it went really quickly. Here you can see one of the heater boxes, just a close up. There are two uh, in this house, we have two zones. You can see one here in the foreground and then further back in the background. So we're almost ready to pour at this point. Uh, an inspector from Legolet comes and checks everything, makes sure it's okay. No pouring till he signs off. After the sign off, a few days later, the uh, ready mix truck arrives. We used a, uh, a colored concrete and that gets poured like any other concrete and smoothed. Our house uh, was built in Collingwood and moved to the site in uh, many different pieces. It's a post and beam house. They started uh, very early in the morning. Uh, they were here at 5.30 and uh, began work right away. Um, a number of trucks were coming and going from Collingwood, bringing in the various components of the house. And here you can see the uh, one of the walls being uh, hoisted aloft about 60 feet in the air to get clear some trees and then uh, brought them down uh, quite uh, with a lot of precision right on to the foundation where they had to be uh, bolted on. And here you can just see the walls starting to take shape. The company is uh, called Legendary Group out of Collingwood. Really great crew, great to work with. They uh, knew what they were doing. Um, quite a bit of nail biting, you know, making sure that uh, the measurements on the slab actually lined up with the measurements on the, uh, the walls, but it all worked out. Nothing was off and uh, the house fit like, uh, like it was supposed to uh, along the foundation perimeter. And we had no big issues there. Here you can see uh, some of the timber frame uh, going up. Um, it's called a, a post and beam hybrid um, and the, uh, the interior has a timber frame uh, open concept. So here you can see the guys starting to uh, put those beams into place. They worked really quickly. As I say, we started uh, with this project one morning, about 5.30 in the morning. By mid-afternoon, the uh, timber frame uh, beams were up and then uh, it was just a matter of hoisting uh, these large roof panels into place. Uh, they're super insulated, prefabricated roof panels. Um, the finished uh, ceiling is on the inside and the outside was plywood. And uh, they were just dropped into place and bolted to the timber frame. Instantly we had a roof. There's the interior with the roof on. Uh, as I say, it took uh, about a day to put all this together. Um, this is what it looks like now. Still need some window trim, but we're very comfortable in here. This is the mechanical room. This is what feeds the uh, um, both the domestic hot water system and the uh, Legolet floor heating system. Um, it was put in by Simcoe Muskoka Home Comfort. Uh, unlimited hot water. It's a tankless design and it uses a Trinity boiler. Um, it's all high efficiency works very well. I had no problems with it. It's only a little over a year old now, um, but it, it works extremely well. So this is the uh, what you see. Uh, this is in a closet. It's just uh, basically a, a lid um, and underneath is uh, some sound dampening material and then a metal uh, screw-on cover and uh, 
in there is the little uh, heat exchange unit and the fan. Um, absolutely satisfied with this system. It has kept us warm and toasty even on the coldest winter days. Um, it uh, Ours runs on propane. You, you may choose a natural gas fed boiler or it can also run on uh, directly on electricity. Um, but it, it's uh, really, it, it doesn't require too much. It has very few moving parts other than, than a fan. Um, and uh, it's, it's performed flawlessly. One thing I would say is that uh, the contractor you choose um, to put in the, the actual heating system uh, does need to communicate with Legolit. In our particular case, it took a few return visits to get it tuned up to peak efficiency. Uh, this was the first time that our heating contractor had put in a system to feed a Legolit unit, so there was a bit of a learning curve there. But uh, in the end, um, it's a pretty simple system.